going to pick up where we left off on the percent change worksheet, CUDA software. I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description below. In this worksheet, we're working on percent changes. So the formula we're using is the new value minus the old value divided by the old value. If that gives us a positive number, we know that that was a percent increase. If that formula gives us a negative number, we know that it was a percent decrease. We're going from 20 tons to 99 tons. So 99 is our new value. We're going to subtract the old of 20 and divide that by 20. Go ahead and entering that into our calculator. We have 99 minus 20, which will give us 79, and divide that by 20 to get 3.95. Converting that to a percent, we're moving the decimal place over twice, which is just multiplying by 100. That is going to give us 395% and we know that it was an increase. So 395% increase. Number 10, from 16 tons to 72 tons. We can see that this is an increase automatically because we're starting at a lower number and reaching a higher number. Our new number is 72, our old value is 16, and we're going to divide that by our old value of 16. Entering this in on a calculator, we're going to get 72 minus 16, divide that by 16, and that's going to be 3.5. I'm going to go ahead and put in a placeholder zero, since I know when I convert this to a percent, I'm moving the decimal place over twice. This is 350%, and it was an increase. Number 11, our old value is 117, and we're decreasing to that 91. We have our 91, which is our new value, minus 117, all divided by 117. So 91 minus 117 divided by 117 is going to give us a negative 0.2 repeating. So that's going to be negative 0.2 repeating. Moving the decimal place over twice, that percentage is going to be a negative 22%. Since this is negative, it's going to be a decrease. So we have a 22% decrease. And since we're specifying an increase or a decrease, when we write that it's a decrease, we can drop the negative because you know that a decrease means we're going down. Number 12, our old value is 188 and we're going to the new value of 42. 42 is the new value minus 188. That numerator is going to be negative, so I can already assume that this is a decrease. 42 minus 188. gives us negative 146, and we're dividing that by the old value of 188. This is a negative 0 0.776. Negative 0 0.776. Moving the decimal place over twice, that's going to give us a negative 78%. So this is a 78% decrease. Continuing on to the second page, number 13 is from 362 meters to 156 meters. Our new value is 156 minus our old value of 362, all of that divided by 362. 156 minus 362, divide that by 362, is going to be a negative point. 569. Negative 0 0.569. Converting that to a percent by multiplying by 100, that's going to be negative 57%. Therefore, it's a 57% decrease. 
14, we're going to have the new value of 385 minus the old value of 139 and divide that by 139. 385 minus 139 and divide that by 139 is going to give us 1.769. I'll go ahead and round this now to 1.77. So 1.77, convert that to a percent, 177%, and this is positive, so we know that it's an increase. Also, we can tell logically, 139 minutes, we have to go up to get to 385, so it's an increase. In number 15, it looks a little different, but we're just using the label of dollars. So our old value is 328 and our new value is 333. So we're increasing by $5. 333 minus 328 divided by 328. 333 minus 328 gives us positive five, like I said, and we're dividing that by 328, our old value. That's going to leave us with 0 0.015. So 0 0.015 converted to a percent is 1.5%, and that was an increase. So rounding that, we'll get a 2% increase. Sixteen, our new value is 274, our old value is 259. 274 minus 259 gives us 15, divide that by 259, we get a positive 0 0.057. 0 0.057. Convert that to a percent by multiplying that by 100. And we're going to get 5.7% with rounds to 6%, and it is an increase. Number 17, our old value is 284, and our new value is 206. So we have 206 minus 200. 84, and this is all over the old value of 284. So on the calculator, 206 minus 284, and that divided by 284. That'll give us negative 0 0.27. Converting negative 0.27 to a percent, we're going to get negative 27 percent. So that is a 27 percent decrease. I'll do one more and then stop the video after 18. So that means the next video will finish out this worksheet doing numbers 19 through 24. So our old value is 246 dollars and our new value is 221 dollars. So our new, 221, minus our old of 246, and divide that by the old of 246. Using our calculator, we'll do 221 minus 246, and we're going to divide that, negative 25, by 246. That's going to give us a negative 0 0.101, negative 0 0.101, convert that to a percent, we're going to get negative 10%. So we know that for number 18, we had a 10% decrease. If you need any more instruction on converting decimals to percent or doing percent change, go ahead and check out my tutorial videos, and I'll leave a link in the description to access those. For now, go ahead and like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.